Makers looking at the end of this year's legislative session, there are more than a dozen vetoed bills that could see attempts to override. That includes a significant tax cut bill. 12 News reporter Sean Logging taking a look at what we can expect, Sean. Like that tax cut bill, finding bipartisan support, especially in the House where it passed unanimously. And tax cuts are a priority for both parties. But Governor Kelly's veto citing concerns about the long-term cost of that bill, instead pitching an alternative plan as we're nearing the final days of this session. This legislative session, Governor Laura Kelly has vetoed 16 bills, 15 of those since lawmakers went on break earlier this month. It is one less than the high watermark set last year with 17 vetoes. Her second term as governor is is really, you know, being characterized by, you know, this very high level of contention. Two of those vetoes this year have been on tax bills. The latest was on Wednesday for a bill that had bipartisan support. She drew a line here in regards to this one. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work out for her. Uh, we'll see what the long-term political outfall of it all is. The vetoed plan has a cost of about $1.5 billion over three years, with cuts to state income taxes, property taxes, social security income taxes, and an early end to the state's food sales tax rate. Now the question is, will the legislature have the two-thirds majority in the House and Senate to overturn? Based on the initial votes to pass the bill out, the math to overturn appears strong in the House where it passed unanimously, but it could be tighter in the Senate. A number of Senate Democrats do agree with the governor's position. The professors of political science I spoke with say, while it might be awkward for Democrats who are in the minority in both chambers to go against the governor, there's also a political calculation of an election year. With a tax bill, I think it's quite a bit less likely that they'll get primaried if they don't vote with the governor. Genuine concerns that they have that have been voiced to them by their constituents, like, you know, regarding the, the still not gone yet food tax. Ship will also be looking at other veto override attempts for abortion, election, and gender affirming care for minors bills. Now, some of those votes could come as soon as tomorrow. In addition to the vetoes, lawmakers also have to finish up the major budget package and K 12 education funding. I will always tell.